Y'all know what the fuck this is. Everybody get on the fucking get floor. Get on the fucking ground. Right now. Which one of you bitches got the keys to the bitch, boat? Give me the motherfucking, motherfucking money. cash in the bag. Stop playing Two with me. Two minutes. Don't fucking move. Come give on. me that fucking money. Get your ass money. over here. Come get on. your motherfucking ass over Let's here. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Open this bitch, motherfucking boat. Get on the motherfucking boat. Right the fuck now. Get on the motherfucking boat. Open the fucking boat. Get the fucking keys off the floor. Come on. Taking your sweet ass time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Put this in the bag. Put the, hurry the fuck up! Come on, bitch! Come on! Get this in the bag! Shit! Come on! Come on! Go Make sure you get all that shit! Out of hurry up! Put the motherfucking cash in the bag! Get that shit in there! Hurry up! Put the motherfucking cash in the bag! Stop playing with me! Get that shit in there! Don't come on, come move. on! Speed that shit up! You wanna make it home tonight? Huh? Minute 30! Don't fucking move, I'll blow your get fucking head off! Get that shit in off. there! Hurry that shit up, I'm gonna take your sweet ass time! Come on, come on! Come on, is this it? Is this it? Don't you I'll kill every one of you all fucking that bitches. Come on. I don't give a fuck. Get the fucking money in the bag. Fuck. Told you no killing, bruh. God damn. They are fucking robbing us, man. Come on, man. You know that's not the case. Then tell me what is the case. Bro, they just went public. Plus, their earnings look absolutely amazing. What did you expect? Not to be raped for a share. <laughs> You're so dramatic. My man, look, this was a great investment. Give it about a year or two in. I guarantee you, returns are going to look amazing. Hands down. Plus, let's be honest, have I ever steered you wrong? Man, I will give it six months. That's all I'm asking for, my man. <laughs> all right, man, I'll talk to you later. All right, brother. Shit. It's always no, the same no, shit with you. No, no, Every it's fucking time. You. It's always Every you. Fucking you bring time. up the same shit. Bitch, shut the, the time. fuck up when it's I'm talking to you, bitch. Put your fucking hands off of me. What you gonna put more bruises on me? Fuck you looking at. What's the matter here for? Why you fighting for me? 911, what's your emergency? I think I just witnessed a domestic violence case. Were you assaulted? No, not me. I'm in my car. I'm going to transfer you to someone who can assist you. Can you please hold? Sure, I'll wait. Can I get your address, please? Hey, Roger. Yeah, I just got home. Yeah, I can take a look at it. You wanna look at it now? Okay, sure. What's up, little bro? What's up, Cyrus? Damn, no hug or nothing? Oh, I get it. You bought your new fancy house, and now you big timing me, huh? That's cool. That's cool. You finna invite a nigga in, or what? I don't see any niggas here. <laughs> I'm 
Don't fuck with you, man. Go for the show, man. Come on in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. I see you still into this computer shit, huh? Yeah. I'm still into uh, computer programming. <laughs> Try making earnest living. You, um, you still into that um, street shit? I mean, they got my back when the family not there. Mm. Is that because I didn't visit you when you were in jail? Mom's dead. That's mom's. It's the only thing we got left of hers. I didn't even know you had it. Yeah. She came down to see me one day. Set across from me. And she took it right off her neck. Mama wrapped it around my hand. She said, you got to fight for something. Why'd she say that? Because I didn't feel like living. I'm sorry, man. I, I should have came to visit you. It's cool. I know you had your reasons. You seem like a smart dude. Just like, why all the dumb shit, man? Is it dumb shit because I don't want to follow the system? You know, having this nice house, nice car, and job, that don't mean you made it, little bro. This shit don't last forever. But robbing banks does. Depends on what you do with the money. You take people's money. No, not the people. Just the ones that tax us, take ours. You a lost soul. I'm just unplugged, little bro. I'm not selfish in this greedy-ass world. I ain't mad at you, though. This what a nine to five gets a brother nowadays, huh? Thanks. Oh, you got any uh, wifeys or side chicks around this motherfucker? <laughs> you happy in here? I'm good. I'm good. Come on, bro. I'm not one of your coworkers, bro. You ain't got to try to impress me. Hey, you still trying to find love on them dating apps? Ain't nothing wrong with a dating app, man. Hey, I didn't say there was. So what are you saying? You worked hard to build up your castle. Be nice to share it with someone. That's all. I'm good. And I mean, like, what is this shit anyways, man? Lessons from a criminal? Yeah, I'm a criminal. But who's locked up? You need to make sure you get out, enjoy your life a little bit. Stop putting work in front of everything. Shit, help someone else other than yourself for once. Nigga, who you help, huh? <laughs> You'd be surprised. But right now, I'm trying to help you. What do you want, Cyrus? <laughs> I just want you to come see me fight tonight. Plus, me and Kelly got something to tell you. See you fight. You mean that underground shit where you and a bunch of thugs try to kill each other, right? That's not fighting. It's stupid. I still won, no. <laughs> Dropped old boy after going Super Saiyan 2 on him. Hit him with that Muay Thai elbow. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. You funny. But here's what's funnier. You know they got high forms in that now, right? Oh, I see. You mad, because I got better jabs than you, huh? Is that what it is? is that what... <laughs> hey, bro, you know, you, you ain't got no better jabs than me. I taught you everything you know, my man. Okay. I taught you everything you know, bro. I see, I see, Mr. Golden Gloves, MMA nigga. Listen, this grown man shit? Uh huh. Now, you don't know nothing about that. Okay. You don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about you that. You not a goddamn thing, bro. No, oh, man, get out of here, bro. <laughs> Nah, though, little bro. The real question, though, what you working for here, huh? What's your end game? What you mean, end game? 
Like, you're in game, you know? Like, you got the nice house, got the fancy car, but that's just material shit. What about, you know, starting a family? Or well, shit, helping kids that grew up like me and you did. Nobody helped me out. I had to grind for everything I got. That's why I sit where I sit. That's true, that's true. But does it feel right? You rob liquor stores and banks. Does that feel right? God works in mysterious ways. Hey, we go, God. You God now? Hmm? You helping people out and all that stuff. What, you want some money? <laughs> nah. I don't need any money, little bro. Come on, I'm rich. And here. Hey, you remember when we was kids? Yeah. I used to be out running the streets. You was at home playing video games all damn day. <laughs> you said that you could hear the music of the game even when you wasn't playing. <laughs> I think one time you didn't eat the whole day. <laughs> you got hella scared, came running to me. Big bro, make sure I don't never play the game that long ever again. <laughs> I'm like, man, you taking that game shit way too serious. Yeah. You need to come take your ass outside with me. <laughs> what you used to tell me though? <laughs> I said, come outside when I win. Exactly. When you motherfucking win. Come see me fight tonight, bro. I told him that we have something to tell him. You still didn't tell him. You know he doesn't come to these things, Cyrus. Uh, he will tonight. Is that so? Why? Because he's my brother. He's not like you. He'll be here. Trust me. I wouldn't bet on it. Can you just keep an eye out for Marcus for me? Please. Thank you. Yo, OG, I got next on this. Put me down for five. Five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, young blood. What you hear about the bank on 25th Street? I hear a lot of things. What you ask me? Is it clear to make a withdrawal? Or in the street, some large numbers finna fly through there. I know the early bird gets the wine. Better be some big-ass birds. Sesame Street with all the characters. You know, a lot of folks been looking at them worms, but that show ain't happening for a few days. Is it network local? Yeah. It's for a few days? Unless the Chief's out of commission. I think we can make that happen. So, who are you trying to get in there with? You know who. Keep it down, motherfuckers. Keep it down. Y'all know how this shit goes. No colors, no sets, guns, knives, or anything other than the shit you was born with. Now, we all family up in this bitch, and we just want to get a little something off our chest. And if you're lucky, make a little something on the side to keep the pockets right. The fight's over. If you get knocked out, tapped out, or quit. Now, our next fight's gonna be a good one. We got uh, Cyrus up against uh, Malice. <laughs> all right, you two, keep it clean, keep your guard up at all times, but most importantly, let's have some fun with this shit.
Keep doing this shit, Cyrus. What? Stressing me out like that. Oh, baby, you know I was just having a little fun. Fun? Yeah. You can't continue to move like this, Cyrus. What no. if you plan on being here for us? Yeah. No, no, you're right. You're right. I try to make sure the blood stays inside my body. All right? Marcus isn't here, Cyrus. You need to tell him. Tell him everything. Everything. Let me handle something real quick. So I want to talk to you, bro. All right. I hit him up when I leave here. Nah. He say he want to talk to you right now, bro. Really, nigga? You see, I'm here with my girl, and that's how you finna pull up on me? Cyrus, I ain't trying to disrespect you, because we both on the same side, but you know how Messiah is. Say you want to talk to you about that bank job, bro. To be honest with you, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. I'll come in here, I'll smoke everyone in this motherfucker. You know how I get down. Let's get our bundles back up, man. You know what it is. All right, all right, relax, bro. It's good, it's good. I'm gonna get my girl home, then I'm gonna swing through. Come on. Don't come over here with that shit. What the fuck does he want? Man, I gotta do something. Do what? Something. Then I'm going. Baby, I gotta go alone. Alone? Cyrus? Baby, please. Let me take care of this. And I'll see you later tonight. All right? It's all right. Promise me. I promise. It's gonna be all right. We'll be waiting for you. Okay. Thank you. But, yeah, yeah, um, come in. Please, come in. Can I get you anything to drink? Don Perignon, Don Julio, or let me guess, you're a rosé kind of girl. Do you tell that to every girl that comes into your house? No, I don't. I just, I just figured you want something to drink. I'm trying to be a good host. Oh, no, yeah. thank you. No All right. Can I put this over here? Yeah, by all means. Make yourself at home. You, uh, you have a nice place. Thank you. Um, I was actually thinking about putting a 16 screen right over there, some surround sound for the living room and the kitchen, you know, really make it make it pop, you know? Um, you didn't you didn't want them to drink, right? No, it's it's okay. Honestly, I just want you to come over here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> no, I'm honestly. I've had terrible luck right. with all of the dating apps that I've been on, so I'm really excited that we're meeting right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can I can attest to that, I, absolutely. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that 
you agreed to come here, especially <laughs> to my house. Okay, honestly, I wasn't thinking about coming over, but my brother lives right down the street, so if you're with any funny business, he'll be over here quickly. I promise, listen, I promise I don't want any big brother problems. Of course, Scouts understood. On. <laughs> I am, though, happy that you're here. So that's that's Thank genuine. You. That's right. Thank you. And I'm glad you asked me. Definitely. definitely. So um, you're into computer programming? Yeah, yeah. Um, program management, actually. Um, eight plus years, got into some things like stocks, uh, Facebook, Amazon, Google. Can I get some water, actually? Yeah. I'm a little yeah. thirsty. Yeah, yeah, totally. Thank you. Can I, um, here you go. Thanks. Can I, um, get you anything else? No, it's it's fine. Okay, cool. Um, and just so you know, um, I got us a 9.30 at the lodge. Um, great restaurant. I'm sure you'll like it. Yeah. Cool. Um, so you're, you're a teacher, high school. Um, that's awesome. Tell me about it. It's actually a uh, middle school, <laughs> but it's great. Honestly, I just, I think my favorite part is just watching kids develop into who they are. Like, whatever information I teach them, they're gonna have to go out into the world and utilize that one day. So I honestly think it's just amazing. Wow, wow, you, I can tell you're, you're really passionate about it. Yeah. Is that something you always wanted? Yeah, I mean, no. I mainly wanted to be maybe an actress or a talk show host, but I really just wanna empower the world. It's interesting. Um, power. If I can ask, what, what changed? Um, did you always want to be in computer programming? <laughs> no. Uh, funny thing about that is, um, I actually just want to be just like my brother. And what does he do? Um, <laughs> not much actually. Uh, in his words, he lives free. I. Uh, kind of say that like it's a bad thing. Living free is great. Yeah, um, I mean, I mean, there's just, like there's no money in it, right? And I mean, bums, <laughs> bums live free. I personally feel like you should just pursue the acting thing. Keep pursuing that. And because <laughs> everyone knows there's, there's no real money being a teacher. Right? Excuse me? I don't know what you think, but I don't think of money and happiness as the same thing. There's a lot of lonely and rich people at the top. Yeah, you're starting to sound like my brother. Maybe he's right. <laughs> um, I love him to death, but I, he says the same thing, and he has nothing to show for it. OK, let me get this straight. Do you think I have nothing to show for myself? No, no, no. You're, you're, you're twisting my words. That's not what I meant. I'm, so I'm saying um, okay. you're you're a high school teacher, like, that, that's awesome. Thanks, asshole. I'm actually a middle school teacher. And, you know, maybe you should think about building relationships with people before you just decide to brag about all the cool crap that you have. I, I, I apologize, I didn't, can we just, can we just take it back? I didn't mean no, that. It's okay, honestly. I'm sorry? And, you know, I do empower the world. These kids, they're the future, and I'm trying to empower them. So have fun sitting at the top by yourself. Call me. This is Lucy, 700 pounds, a big bitch. Loyal, she keeps her mouth shut. She lets me beat her, flip her. She doesn't say shit, never talks, complains, 
and separate men from beasts. You and your crew took care of the breach truck last week. How much was in it? Around 75K. 75,000. Tomorrow, I need you and your crew at 25th Street. I want you all to understand loyalty. You take care of me, I take care of you. This right here is a small part of loyalty. Trust. Getting shit done for the bigger picture. That's you. On the opposite end of loyalty, you got racks. And you can flush them out with cheese. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Please. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nobody likes rats. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I want to go home. I want to go home. Please. I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Please! Please! He's, he's just a kid. Mice and rats do the same shit. Big Mike got 20 years because somebody recognized him in the lineup. That could have been any one of us. Kids make mistakes, Messiah. It shouldn't cost them everything. It shouldn't. Another reason why Lucy separates men from beasts. Men. And beast. So tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow. Check it out, check it out, man. Hey, you know I gotta make you look bad, right? I'm right here, man. Okay, show me something. What's what I got? Oh! oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Got him close. You ain't never too old for a spanking, baby. Yeah, okay. I call that luck. Uh, okay, I call it skill. All right, up top. Okay. I call it skill, baby. Let me see that skill from right there. Pull that J. What you oh, got? You see it? Look, look, I the want jumper. the jumper. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah. Hey. I'll take that up top. Let little bro show you how it's done, yeah? All right, all right. Uh, check that. Show up me top. Show me something. Let's go. Right here, I want it. What you want? What you want? What you want? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's how it's done. Heavy. Them W's are real heavy right now, man. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, you look like you had a nice workout. Them L's must weigh something. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> nah, good game, bro. You got good it. Game, man. Good game. You got that one. Damn. What's up, bro? What's up, come on? Always could read me. Uh-huh. Honestly, man, I was, I was just thinking about what you said the other day. About what? You know, it feels right. 
Like the cars and money and shit like that? Yeah. I just never thought about it. You should, bro. You really should. What happened to you last night? Um, I had a date. A date? Hey. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> my man, my man. I thought you was just trying to blow my fight off. Come on, bro. You know I just don't get down with that. That's all. There's no disrespect. Just the street shit. I can't support it. I'm not looking for your support, bro. I just want you to see my last fight in the ring. Last fight for real? Yeah, my last fight, bro. I got other plans in effect. Sent something up that uh, you know, I want you to be a part of. Honestly, so long as those plans don't involve you going back to jail, I'm all for it. The real question is this, man. When are you gonna let me hook you up with a job? Man, fuck all that, man. Plus, we got something to tell you. <laughs> we, as in like you and Kelly? Boy, you know she don't mess with me like that. She don't know you like that, bro. You're always busy. Some new promotion or some shit. Damn. She cussed me out smooth last time. <laughs> Disrespectful. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, it was funny? <laughs> that was funny. OK. Look, though, man, try to get to know her for me. Y'all got a lot more in common than you think. Probably why I love both of y'all. Yeah. I'll try, man. Just, I, I guess sometimes I just don't see the similarities, that's all. Well, I got to get up out of here, man, but let me know when you're free, though, to see me and Kelly. All right? I got to go. You got to, I mean, you leaving right now? You think we can play one last game, you know, pick up something, give you this last L. <laughs> I got to meet up with somebody, bro. No more L's for me today, man. All right. <laughs> I respect it, man. Hey, I love you, bro. I love you, too, bro. For sure. All Take right. care of yourself. Stay up, man. Yo. Why you park over here? Bank like down the street. Seemed like a cool little vantage point from here. Oh, you know the drill. We in, we out. No bystanders, and don't get fucking greedy. Cyrus, I don't know about this one, G. You know about it. Come on, bro. Why are you so nervous? You act like you ain't done this shit before. This look like a setup, bro. What? A setup, nigga. Fuck! All right, check it out. We're gonna rob this motherfucking bank regardless, even if we gotta go through that nigga on my mama. Serious, Cyrus? I'm dead ass, bro. It's a lot of sweat. He sent you to do it? So that big bitch couldn't do it himself, huh? When it's supposed to happen? If he robbed his bank, Cyrus, he, he knew what you were doing with that money, bro. I'm sorry, man. Listen, man, all I'm saying is she started tripping as soon as I said she should get a different job because, surprise, teachers don't make much. Damn, man. Yeah, she should have written you a check for being her financial advisor. <laughs> right? I'm dropping jams and she's not even trying to pick them up. Yeah, man, her loss. You know, we need to create our own dating app. You know, one that finds chicks that understand us. <laughs> 
No, no, we don't need to make an app, man. Come on, man. We have everything we need in front of us, and we know how to operate the system. My man, are we going to get back to work? Yeah, yeah, we can get back to work. No, I'm just saying, since we're already out here changing the world with the way that people interact with their phones and computers, we already understand the back-end development. It'd be awesome to manipulate the system and get what we want. Yeah, but see, that's the problem. People are flesh and blood. They're not just an app. You can't program in it and get what you want. No, no, man, I call bullshit. If everyone is so connected to this shit, they probably don't even know how to make a decision without consulting the social media overlords. <laughs> People will be fine, man. We got a system in place that so long as everyone does their position, you know, they play it right, they'll be fine. Yeah, man. You know, man, speaking of position, now Roger should be announcing who's getting that new position down south in two weeks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's going to be a lot of money, man. Big money. Hell yeah. Plus stock options and RSUs? You know, I think you're gonna get it. Fingers crossed, man. I mean, if everything works out, we can put a whole new system in place. Be amazing. What Thanks. system is that? You're gonna be your uncle, nigga. Huh? You're gonna be on. You gonna be a great fucking dad when that happens, but we out of that conversation right now. See pressure on this shit. Stop talking to you. You made a lot. Fuck you made a lot of shit. Just hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need an ambulance right now. I'm at 720 Kirkwood Avenue. My brother's been shot. The bleeding just come right now. Just come right now. You're going to be a uncle. You're going to be a good dad. We, we, ain't, we ain't worried about that. Just, just keep pressing here. Stop talking, Cyrus. Nelly's pregnant. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. <gasps> Press your wound. God damn it. Fuck. OK. Um, no, you straight. You straight. You straight. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. So I wasn't there for you too. I'm gonna find who did this. I promise you. Marcus, you've been pacing for like an hour now, man. You need to chill. Come on, man. The cops are going to be here any minute, and I'm sure they'll have some kind of lead or something for you. It's been three weeks. Last time they were here, they took me in, wrecked my shit, and accused me of killing Cyrus. They need to start doing their fucking jobs. Damn it. Officer. Marcus Sims? Yes, sir. Um, any news of who shot my brother? Do you have a gun in the house? What? Do you have a gun on the premises? 
No. We went through this already. Do you have any fucking thing for me? You need to calm down, Mr. Sims. I was just asking you a question. No. Who shot my brother? Do you have anything for me? Did you know your brother was in a gang? He even did some time a few years ago. It's only common that something like this was going to happen sooner or later. Common. So that it makes it OK? I've heard shit about this case. Are you guys even fucking doing your jobs? Don't question what we do. Your brother robbed a bank and came here, and yet none of the money was found. I could run you in as an accomplice. Run me as a... You mother... You better choose your next words carefully, boy. Or it won't be just your brother's blood spilt in this house. Officer, sorry about the hassle. My friend here is still a little shaken up about the loss of his brother. Call you if we need anything. Is there anything else we can help you with, officer? No. Looks like I'm done here. I've got a nice place here, Marcus. What the fuck was that shit about? Bro, you almost got shot. That's what that was. They basically ain't doing shit. Then they want to put the blame on me so they don't have to do their fucking jobs. Bro, it's bullshit. Relax, dude. You always say the system works. No. Fuck the system. I got it. What? Remember how we talked about creating that program? If the system doesn't work, create one for yourself. I still don't get it. Now, how did this turn into getting chicks? Are you trying to make your no, own dating app? No, no, no. I'm going to do what the system's supposed to do. By yourself? Yeah. OK. What's your plan? First, I got to find out who was there during the bank robbery. You just want to get the bank's camera footage? I'm pretty sure they wore masks. Yeah. I know my brother has a crew that he rolls with. Shit, maybe they'll know something. So you want to go up to a bunch of gangsters and say, what, who shot my brother so I can turn them into the cops? Shit, dude, I'm not fucking no. I'm just hoping maybe, maybe if I'm around, I might, I might fucking hear something. No offense, Marcus, but you're no Nino Brown. <laughs> I don't know if I should slap you or high five you for knowing that reference. A high five? But the fact that you said high five proves my point. Whatever. So, how do you plan on getting close to your brother's crew? Kelly. Hey, thank you for coming, Kelly. What do you want? Can you just take a seat, please? I'm not... I'm not trying to reopen old wounds. I need to know who Cyrus was with during the robbery. Is that why you brought me here? No, that's not the case. Listen, the police think I killed Cyrus. You're trying to clear your name. Kelly, that's <laughs> not the case. I actually thought you cared about who killed Cyrus. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Sounds like something you would do. Selfish and only thinking about yourself. I earned that. That's fair. But I still need your help. Why should I help you? Because we're family, Kelly. Because I'm trying to be a good uncle for my niece or for my nephew. I'm trying to do everything I was supposed to do for you, for, for myself. For Cyrus. Just... Oh. He told you? Yeah, he told me before he passed. So I don't, I don't know who Cyrus was with, but I think I, I think I might, I think I might know someone who knows. Who? 
They call him OG. OG, huh? Yeah. He, uh, he, he holds these fights, and if anybody knows who did it, it's him. Can you give me it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. But, but Marcus, if, if, the, if the guys who shot Cyrus are there, what makes you think they ain't going to do the same to you? No. I'm not worried about that. They don't know him as brother. So what are you going to do when you find out who did it? I don't know right now. <laughs> you don't know? Marcus, these guys don't play by the rules. They will kill you. So when are we leaving? All right, Marcus, you gotta keep it cool. Hey, don't worry about me, I got it. You see that guy over there? Yeah. That's OG. In the pink? Yeah. All right, wait here. You OG? Boy, what the fuck you want? Are you OG? Hey. Who the fuck is asking? Marcus. Well, who the fuck is Marcus? Doesn't even matter, I got questions. Well, if you in my house, it matters. I can tell you ain't a cop. Oh, hey, Kelly. I'm sorry, OG. This is Marcus. He's new to the house. He doesn't know house rules yet. What you mean house rules? Yeah, little nigga, house rules. This is my house, and there are rules up in this bitch. All right, let's try again. Who's Marcus? Somebody who's got questions. To what? I want to know about the crew that robbed the bank on 25th. House rules. So, who you fighting? What? Who you fighting? I didn't come here for a fucking fight. Well, you came here looking for one. Plus, if you want any word on the crew that rolled that bank, you'll be stepping in that ring. Listen here, Marcus. In this house, people follow my rules. And if you want to leave here with your face intact, you'll be doing the same. So, who you fighting? Doesn't matter. All right, we have our winner, Bear. Now, don't forget to pay what you owe, so I don't have to come looking for your ass. And as always, house gets 10%. All right, motherfuckers, we got some fresh meat coming to the stage. I'm pretty sure you all want to give him a warm welcome. Marcus and his opponent, Barnes. All right, you two, keep it clean. Keep your guard up at all times. But most importantly, let's have some fun with this shit. You're mine. What are the rules? When? I need to know. That was a hell of a fight. Somebody make sure Barnes ain't dead and, and get him up off my stage. Look, I got on your fucking little stage and I fought, all right? Now I want some goddamn answers. I can tell by the way you fought you're not a street fighter. You're a professional. And we don't get those down here. I need to know. Was your family in that bank that got robbed? Are you looking for revenge against the robbers? What I'm not seeking is a goddamn father figure, all right? Who the fuck was in the crew? He calls himself Masai. Masai? Yeah. It was his crew that rolled that bank. Word on the street is they got ambushed by another gang. I don't know who that was. I just know that a lot of folks are talking about hitting that place. 
How do I talk to Masai? There's no talking to Masai. You have to be in his crew to even get close to him. How do I get in the fucking crew? Well, you must have a death wish. Masai ain't the kind of guy you can just walk up to and ask a couple of questions. He'll take you out even if you're a professional. Who is in his crew? There's a few. His right-hand soldier used to come around here a lot. Who was that? Cyrus. He got shot up by another crew during that heist. It's a shame, too. He was a good soldier. Shit. He was a good man. Him and Kelly was a thing. Did you know him? Anybody here from his crew? Wait, wait, wait. He, he talked about you. No, this isn't your life, Marcus. If you take that step, it's gonna follow you for the rest of your life. Point out the guy. Don the Black Raiders cap. What's up? Yo, you're not usual down here. Shit, I'm here now. So what business you got with OG? You know that old nigga? <laughs> Look, I'm looking to join the toughest crew around. That's what's up. You got hands, G. Shit, the way you took out Barnes with the elbow, shit was dope. Appreciate you. We could use someone like you. Who's in the crew? No questions, though. You down to ride? Yeah, where we going? <laughs> Dog, are you down? Yeah, I'm down. All right, look. Finish kicking it with your girl. Enjoy a few fights. I'll come grab you in a little bit, all right? All right. All right. Sure. Is everything okay? Yeah, um, I found the, uh, found the dude that Cyrus rolling with in their crew. That guy? Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, I'm rolling tonight. Marcus, are you sure? I'm telling you, this is not a game. I mean, Cyrus always said I gotta step out eventually, right? <laughs> but, um, no, nah, I'm good. I got it. You should head home. I got it. Are you it. sure? I'll be fine. Marcus, thank you. I'll see you later. Get out the car! Get the fuck out! All right, shit. Nigga, move! <clears throat> Who the fuck Samson think he is? Bringing these new niggas to the spot. See? That's why I had to take care of his ass. What the fuck you doing with Samson anyways? I'm just looking to join the toughest crew around, that's all. Nigga, who are you? Marcus. What do you know about loyalty? Allegiance and trust. Trust is earned, respect is given, loyalty is demonstrated. Betrayal of any one of those, you lose all three. So you wanna be a part of this? Yeah. You're gonna have to earn your loyalty. There's a liquor store on 10th and Broadway. You're gonna rob it. At any given time, that place holds on to about 15,000 cash. Break into me. All of them. You get it here, we can talk. If it's not here within 48 hours, I'll start killing everybody on this fucking phone. I think you understand that. Right, Marcus? 
Yeah. Nigga, what the fuck you still doing here? Bounce! What's up, Marcus? Yo. Damn, man. What happened? Got into some shit, man. Does this have anything to do with that gang stuff you were talking about the other day? Honestly, man, I'd rather not talk about it at work. Just stop by later on tonight and I'll tell you all about it. Call the cops? <sighs> if only it was that simple. Marcus, you got a sec? Yes, sir. What happened to your face? Oh, <laughs> just kickboxing class. <laughs> well, I hope you got a few licks in on the other guy. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, let's talk in my office. Yes, sir. You've been doing very well with this company, Marcus. And I'd like to thank you for your hard work. Thank you very much, sir. You're a strong leader. And you're someone I can trust. Very loyal to the company with the sacrifices you've made. Yeah. I know you are aware we are expanding. And we'll have a satellite building down south. I would like you to run it. You okay with that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. It will require some change. Are you okay with relocating? Of course. That's great. I actually want to send you out tomorrow afternoon to Los Angeles to meet with the head of marketing and go over some quarterly business plans. Tomorrow, you said? Yes, tomorrow. Is that going to be a problem? Of course not. OK. Marcus, I feel you will be the right person for the position. You have no attachments. You understand how to play the game, and that'll get you far in this company. Don't let me down. I won't, sir. Oh, excuse me. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Cyrus always had bruises on his face. Yeah. Guess he has something to be proud of me for now, right? He was always talking about you. <laughs> he was always talking about that obsession with that Dragon Ball Z show we always watched. Anime. Yeah. I'm honestly surprised he even told you that. Yeah. All the time. He was a good spirit. Just like Goku. <laughs> yeah. Um. So did you hear about the people that uh, Cyrus was hanging out with? I don't think I can do it, Kelly. Do what? They want me to rob a store. And um, I have 48 hours to do it. 
some sort of fucking initiation or some shit like that. And you told him no. I don't, I don't think it works that way. They have a, they have my phone and uh, all my contacts in it. They um, they said they start to kill it by my phone if I didn't do it. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. My boss, he offered me a job in LA and I honestly just feel like taking it. A job? Is it front end or back end programming? How do you know that? Uh, before I met Cyrus, I was a web developer. I'm not just the girl that cusses you out. What happened? Uh, well... I fell for Cyrus. And, um, and everything that comes with it. I chose family. We have a list of all my contacts, Kelly. And my phone. Okay, Marcus. It's not okay. You're in that contact list, Kelly. Look, Marcus. Do. Do what you need to do, okay? You don't owe Cyrus or me anything, all right? Cyrus would be proud of you. You know something? I guarantee he's looking down right now and still proud. Man, this is too crazy. What are you gonna do? I'm thinking. A lot just fucking happened, man. And yeah, what about wearing a wire? Fuck no. Oh, shit. What? Roger offered me the position. Holy shit, that's great. You took it, right? I don't know. He wants me to fly out tomorrow. Well. Damn, man, that's your way out. It's not that easy, man. Why? Because they have your phone, you can go to the cops, they could track that thing, and you can bust them. Because I still don't know who killed Cyrus. And it doesn't even guarantee kill his safety. Look, Marcus, don't take this the wrong way, man, but up until these last couple weeks, I barely even heard you talk about your brother. And we worked together for five years. I don't talk about Cyrus. Because we took different paths in life, man. We all got family members like that, man. We never knew our dad. Mom was strung out on drugs. In and out of fucking foster homes. <laughs> my head would fucking spin. And Cyrus, he was, he was my fucking rock. He was, he was my fucking everything. He used to just keep us together. He tried to keep us together. I'm sorry to hear that, man. 
With time, I just, I just learned to block it out. <laughs> you can get real good at blocking stuff out if you try hard enough. He was in jail. Mom was, oh fuck, mom was. Probably on drugs. And then one day, police knock on my door and tell me she's dead. <laughs> I didn't even go to her fucking funeral. I just, I didn't even fucking care. I put my career in front of her, in front of my fucking family. I can't do that again. Not with Cyrus. He deserves better. He deserves more. Look, ma'am, I hear you, okay? This isn't some game. You're into some serious shit. So what are you going to do? I need to make 15,000 by tomorrow. Fuck. What about LA? I can't. If I'm gonna do this, I gotta be all in. Roger can find somebody else. So your mind's made up? Yeah. Well, I mean, you can't dip into your stocks because it'll take at least a week to get everything liquid. Yeah, I need something fast. I need something immediate. Maybe you can sell your watch. It's not worth 50,000. I got it. What? Craigslist. <clears throat> what are you gonna sell on Craigslist? You got your phone on you, right? Yeah. I need you to take some photos of my car. 15,000. Good shit. Take a seat. So, why do you want to be a part of this? Looking to join a family. Hmm. So you don't have any family out here? No. Do you know why I had you rob that liquor store? Initiation. Trust. We do things to preserve the trust in the group, in the family. Now, you want to be a part of that family? Yes, sir. Don't call me, sir. We have some big things getting ready to happen. If you're a part of this, it's all the way. No half-ass shit. I'm in. You can hold on to that for me. That's good. Honestly, I need to make more money. 15K isn't enough. I hear you. Like I said, we have some big things coming down the pipeline. What about like, like banks? What about banks? You know, anything I need to look out for if I end up robbing one? For what? A couple weeks ago, um, there was a bank heist on the news. Cats who robbed the spot got, um, got shot. Samson said it was one of y'all. Yeah, shit happens. I mean, like, what kind of shit? Straight shit? You worried about beef? Nah, I'm just saying. Looking out for myself. The only nigga you need to watch out for is me. Samson saw you down after underground fights. Yeah. What do you think about that place? It's cool. Why? There's a lot of money going through that place. Okay. It's a protected place. What do you mean protected? Kind of a truce between gangs to keep businesses running smoothly from city to city. 
And the cops don't know about it? Know about it? Shit. It was their idea. Why the yelling ground fights? Because pigs find it entertaining. You met OG? Yeah, I met him. The dirty cop. He's the reason why two of my soldiers got hit during that bank heist. You telling me OG's a cop? OG orchestrated the hit that put my soldiers, Killa and Cyrus, in harm's way. Them pigs been trying to get at me for the longest. Why you ain't did nothing about it? OG? Mm-hmm. That's what you're for. I'm sending you and a couple of soldiers over there to take care of that place. <clears throat> no disrespect, Masai, but I feel like that's a little, that's a little much to put on my shoulders, don't you think? This is called trust. Look at it as your initiation. Besides, if you don't do it, you're dead anyway. Okay. When are we going? Right now. What's it gonna be? You got a problem with this? Not at all. This is for Killer and Cyrus. Our family. Yeah. Take this to the coffee shop on 16th. Let him know it's for me. Get the fuck here! Get up. Get up! Get up! So you a cop? What? So you're a cop? Yeah, yeah, I'm a cop. Look, just take the money. I won't tell anyone. So you set up the robbery, huh? You set up the ambush. What are you talking about? Marcus? Marcus, this isn't you. This Ain't isn't no your fucking life. Marcus here. Well, I know it's you. I can tell by the way you fight, the way you move. Why'd you set up the ambush? Marcus, you're a good person. Just put the gun down. You got service killed. I didn't get your brother killed, I swear. I didn't set up any- You know something! That's what you do, right? You know everything! Man, fuck that pig! You good? Nigga, where you get that at? It's my mom's. That's good shit, Marcus. Now that we got the uh, eyes of the streets out the way, we can put the real plan into effect. Get over here. This right here is gonna be our biggest payday. I'm talking about millions. Ooh, yes, sir. <laughs> I was reached by someone high up in the cartel. They got a job for us. A little um, catch and release with the mayor's daughter, Danielle. OG almost got in the way. He had his ears to the street and he was a piece of the puzzle that needed to be taken out. Right on, Marcus. Figure a little payback for Cyrus and Killer. Fuck Killer and Cyrus. Danielle's usually at the coffee shop on Gary and Van Ness. She gets there around 8 o'clock to meet up with her boyfriend. Her dad doesn't know about it. But we do. <laughs> right here, 
gonna have two soldiers posted up in the van. They gonna get out, snatch your ass up, and don't worry about wearing masks. We have all the cameras down across the block. From there, we take her little ass over here. We escort her to this spot where there's a tunnel to get her ass out the city, possibly out of the country. That looks like, that looks like OG spot. Yeah, the cartel wants it. So they're gonna have access points throughout the city. Hmm. There should be some rope here. Tie her ass up, and all you gotta do is put her down that hole. Once she hits the bottom, oh, she's gone. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> and our job is done. And we'll be some rich motherfuckers. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is going out tomorrow night. Get ready. You ready for tomorrow? I'm sorry, can I talk to you real quick? What's on your mind? I killed a man today. That was necessary. To put the family's plan into action. Plan into effect? What else was part of the plan? Cyrus and Killer? I, I thought that was your family. Yeah, they were. It's a dirty game, Marcus. But somebody gotta win it. Pick up that money. Go make a girl happy. I'll see you tomorrow. Look, man, we got to talk. I still can't believe that OG set up Cyrus. He was like a father figure. I killed him. I killed a fucking cop. A dirty cop, Marcus. One that got Cyrus shot. Are you fucking happy? What? Are you fucking happy? We found out who killed Cyrus. Are you fucking happy? What the hell are you talking about, Marcus? I lost my fucking job, sold my car, joined a goddamn gang! And then I killed a fucking cop! Are you fucking serious, Marcus? Your job? I lost my fiance, my baby's father. Look at me. Your brother, your blood, Marcus. I'm worried about your damn job. I just don't get it. What the fuck is Cyrus doing? Why the fuck is he giving his money to these goddamn criminals? You really didn't know your brother. He wasn't giving his money to the gang, Marcus. I want to show you something.
Cyrus was always talking about how he wanted to give back to the kids who really needed it. He wanted you to see this, Marcus. He wanted you to be a part of it. I never knew. Good to see you. It's good to see you too. Um, this is Marcus. Oh, hi, Marcus. Nice to finally meet you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Come on in. Thank you, Tisha. Mm -hmm. I wanted to bring Marcus over here and show him how much his foundation has helped these kids' lives. Yeah, this is something like a foster care, but our main focus is to keep brothers and sisters together on this journey. A foster home. There's a lot of families that fall on hard luck. And the government, they try to help, but sometimes they take away the most important thing that a kid has after they lost their parents. They take away their blood. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Thank you for, uh, for sharing that with me. Oh, thank you. I didn't know anything about him. It's okay, Marcus. No, no, I, I didn't. I didn't know any. Marcus. I should have been there for him. No. Marcus, Cyrus was getting paranoid. Paranoid about what? I don't know. You know he just he kept coming home and, and saying that he wasn't loyal and, I don't know, it, it just kept, you know, caught up with him. Wait, wait, wait. Loyal about what, though? I don't know. He kept, he kept saying that, you know, his loyalty was being questioned by the group. Marcus? What's going on? Okay, Kevin, what I'm going to tell you right now is going to be very important, so I need you to listen to me, okay? Call the police in two hours. Tell them I'll be at this address. Tell them there's guns, drugs, and the gang leader, Masai, okay? I need your keys. Kelly, please, I need your keys. Marcus. Please. Fine. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna make sure he stays there. Marcus Sims. There's no one in here but us. So you got Cyrus killed, huh? Your brother. I had a couple of guys look into you because they saw you wearing Cyrus's chain. A white collar nigga playing gangster. Why'd you do it, Masai? All I have is loyalty. I found out he was keeping money from me. So your own people ain't even safe, huh? Like I told you, the only nigga you need to worry about is me. That shit won't work. Oh, dumb ass niggas! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, you wanna feel the struggle? Satisfaction to build my brother. No. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Yeah, the mayor's daughter. She's just been kidnapped. She's been thrown in the back of a van. What's your location, sir? I'm at the corner of Geary and Van S, in front of a coffee shop. Can you identify who grabbed the mayor's daughter? No, I don't. I don't know who grabbed her. What about a license plate? Do you happen to see that? I didn't see the license. I didn't see the license plate number. All right. 
Okay, sir, I'm gonna need you to calm down. But I do have an idea where she's going. How do you know this information, sir? Just listen, all right? Okay, if I can have you calm down, sir. What's your name? There's a warehouse on the docks. And where is this, sir? Seventh and Green. And to make sure this isn't a prank call and we don't see any units out there, what's your Should name? Just show up.
I want to start off by saying thank you for everything. Thank you for letting me see my brother for who he really was, who he became. It's a shame that I didn't see it until he was gone. I finally understand what he meant. I'm not doing this for me. I felt like I didn't have any family in that. I was taken on this world alone. Even when I was blinded, Cyrus was there. I could never give my niece and nephew their father, but what I can give them is something me and Cyrus never had. A better start. In the envelope, on the table, I, I signed everything over to you. <laughs> I don't know what the future holds for me. But I know it finally feels right. Thank you.